A pleasure. Jakira needs more friends like you. Right, Tommy. You're on the door till our friends are done. Gods forbid we do any business today. Oh, hi. All's well that ends. Well, oh, not as bad. I wouldn't keep you unless you're buying. Then he can wait till the soul forge goes dark. <laughs> Pleasure. Jakira needs more friends like you. Hi, Harper. May Saluna's tears shine on this meeting. A very formal greeting, Geraldus. You are well? Yes, Hi, Harper. Standing beneath Saluna's tears. The lad's a little nervous, Jahira. We heard of your great victory against Ketherick. I understand, Geraldus. Take a moment. And you, Harper. Mm. There is something familiar about you. Doesn't she remind you of our old friend Marcus? Jahira will see through them. She must. She's fought double gangs before. The less subtle approach it is, then. Oh, Jahira. Orin promised you'd make for challenging prey, but then you brought an idiot along.
For the fallen. How many more Harpers dead? Is that blood? No, never mind. Did I... Uh, did I get it right? Shalunis tears. It is said no false face can stand beneath their light. An old code, Harper. But yes, you got it right. Now I need your report. We had eyes on suspected cultists in the city. Like you asked. We thought we were tracking them, but... They were tracking you instead. Evidently. Doppelgangers. And they're not just working with the cult, our High Harper. They're part of it. Barlists, I think. Sworn to Orin the Red, yes. We've already had the pleasure. Go on. Everything seemed fine until your latest orders. Until we started to search for the Rashimar. They struck the same night. I woke to one of them strangling Kelvin while smiling at me out of her face. She said, it said that I'd report back to you as normal. Lou, are you here? And I had no choice. I'm sure it felt that way, Geraldus. The others were likely dragged back to Orin, tortured, sacrificed. I do not expect you to die for me. But to risk Antharl? Any citizen who might have wandered in? There is always a choice. And the Harper must be able to make the hard ones. Perhaps this isn't the life for you after all, Geraldus. No, Jahira! Hi, Harper! Please! I'm still a Harper. I want to help! You've scarcely signed up, boy. And there is a war coming. Why die a Harper when you could still live as anything else? I most humbly beg your pardon? You speak of something you know nothing about! But then why would you, when I have not told it? This mess is of my making. 
I sent the Harpers hunting after the cult without thinking what it would mean to be hunted in turn. Now they are compromised. And if not for you, I wouldn't even know it. I'm sorry, Geraldus. Harper. And I owe you an apology as well. I haven't told you everything I hope to learn here today. First, Geraldus, you're the last Harper in the city I can rely on. Lay low and rest while you can. I have matters to discuss with my friend here. I have not been overly generous with the truth. I came here to learn of the Chosen, true enough. But I set my Harper searching for someone else, too. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Minsk of Rashomon? The name is as familiar as Jahira's own. A hero of the Time of Troubles, who saved the city more than once. Larger than the legend, I assure you. <laughs> Twice as loud, too. Minsk is an old friend. Perhaps my oldest. We've fought at one another's backs, times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. There always is. But that is still the fundamental fact of it. Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there. Cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Minsk charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun. Dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us, or leave him and live to fight another day. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. So don't be sorry, because I mean to use you, if you're willing. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, Perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. As simply as that? For no other reason than that I asked? <clears throat> Perhaps you two will get along. Oh, the point is moot without the means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. I'll have a better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this damned city. Lot have cracked another bloody cask. I. They're dead, Enthal. Doppelgangers were using them as bait. Seems they snared more than they could skin in you. But did Geraldus survive? Alive. But he'll need some time to recover. I'll tuck the boy up tight till he's ready to get back to Harpering. What will you do? Continue the hunt. Aye. Silly question, I suppose. Elves, not this again. The brain is resisting its orders. Without all three stones to control it, it will soon start acting on its own will.
Yes? You're sure? Later, then. I tell you not to get in trouble, but I suspect it will find you whether you like it or not. Even the venerable Harpers are compromised by the Absolute's poison. A grim turn of events, but one we must take in our stride. With pleasure. Lead on. We can't rely on the Harpers. Not when Orin has them infested with shapeshifters. We're on our own. Though, I suppose we're used to it by now. So much for the cavalry riding to our rescue. This is what we get for putting our faith in a network of spies, I suppose. Shapeshifters in the Harpers. My dad always admired their mission, said they gave up their entire lives so we could live safely and ask for nothing in return. We'll rout them, right? For the city, and for Dad. The Harpers have been compromised. A balancing power now unbalanced. To hear a support has been invaluable. We should return it in kind. I met her twice. The first time, I was a boy of seven or eight, at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmain was different. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim. I asked Father later. No, he said. A stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. Mm, something's always gnawed at me. At the banquet. Stelmane didn't seem to look at us, but through us. But that second time, her gaze never left me. It was steel, sharp and unyielding. It could just be my imagination, but I always felt that it was more than a stroke that had changed her. What, though? I couldn't say. Not a tragedy. A calculated cruelty. Think about it. My father was Tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, you must first sow chaos. A tyrant strategy, as father would say. These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. Her bloody fingerprints are all over this city. Voss has done his duty. Now, we will do ours. We must find our way to the House of Hope and take the Orphic Hammer. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will use the hammer to break Orpheus free.
what I wouldn't give to make a guardian who invented the steel watch. Well, you're ready as you seek 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 he merely offered paper. We must claim the crown of Carsus for ourselves before anyone else does. Greetings, citizen Fluffington. I trust you are enjoying. Sorry, chum, can't let you through. Worms Rock's closed for the day. Valeria? Well, I'm not messing about with a murder inquiry for damn sure. Straight ahead across the bridge. A blind ogre couldn't miss it. know how you gained entry, but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place, confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guest, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethric Thorn. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. It already is. Granted, there are a few formalities to complete, but... Well, why don't you come and see? Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Is expecting you. We shouldn't have any more make trouble from the guards. The audience chamber. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the audience. Stand down, villain. In the name of the Steel Watch, aggressive action will not be tolerated in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. The Steel Watch, appreciate your cooperation, citizen. Dearest patriarchs, but a moment. I must greet a most honored guest. My friend, forgive the cold welcome. My steel watchers are eager watchdogs. For the good of the people, I'm sure you understand. Lord Enver Gortash at your service. I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that nether stone that you carry. You know, it takes all three to control the brain. Without Thorms, it's become vexingly willful. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the Sword Coast's infected. You among them. That prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well... Not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I come to an understanding. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. 
Baal's Chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. You've met her assassins. Efficient killers, by all accounts. I know you survived previous encounters. But she won't relent. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know. She's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three Netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. I'd like to propose a pact, a divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here, so the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the Absolute. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. An ally could be useful, at least for now. And when he's no longer useful, well, we can dispose of him then. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A doppelganger in our camp? A little redundant of me to say, but that could be anyone. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly, or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Before you do, come and witness as I make history as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Then we proceed. The Patriarchs await. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. If it isn't little Will's chums! 
I hope he hasn't been too much trouble. Poor thing. He's had a tough go. And you don't know the half of it. You see, Gortash has had Will's father relocated. I'm just an impartial observer. This is Gortash's game. A murderous one, the way I hear it. Raven guards good as dead. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? I know enough. Let's talk to Will in your camp. Work something out. The Duke's life depends on it. Tadpole quivers, revealing your discussion with Mazora to Will. Shit. Father's been taken, and Mazora started to scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? Certainly not. But she's as inevitable as Toril's path around the sun. We'll have answers soon enough. Let's talk to Mazora. Until then, may my father keep safe. Whatever coop he's been flown to. in the Stormshore Tabernacle, if my memory serves me. Do whatever you need to. But I shall be paying my respects to any of the gods on show. You never felt the call of the divine, Astari. I tried them all.
This is a crime. The Unmaker's Parlor. A place to receive clients and inform us. I wonder if it's as I remember it. Oh, bollocks! I told those idiots not to let anyone through. You. Name, rank, and reason for interrupting an active crime scene. For your sake, the last one better be bloody good. An adventurer? <laughs> Fantastic. We don't have enough of those in Boulder's Gate. Unless you've got useful information, leave me to my work. Duke Stalmain's dead, and I've got to find who killed her. God, that's it. Proof that I was right. I've been working on an assignment, see? A research project of sorts. I knew my conclusions were sound. But this... I never expected this. I'll tell you what I know. A century ago, there was a man. Saravok Anchev. He was a child of the god of murder, Baal. He ruled the Iron Throne. A dark tower hiding a darker secret. It was the front for a deadly arms dealing network. There, Saravok amassed an army and sought to become a god. Under his stewardship, the Baal temple was revived. And with it, the Baal cult itself. Fortunately, the temple was destroyed. And to cleanse the city of Saravok's memory, the Iron Throne was torn from its foundations and cast into the Chionthar. For most, that was the end of it. But cults like that don't disappear overnight. That list you spoke of confirms I'm right. The Baal cult is back. And someone is out there, continuing Saravok's work. Stranger things have come back to haunt this city. The brutality of the killings is on a par with Saravok's own. But there's something more here. Something new. There's a reference to these murders. A certain flair. It's as if they were done in worship. The precision of the cuts. The depth, the execution. The best butchers in Faerun couldn't make a cut like that. Trust me, I've asked them. I tried to explain all this to my superiors, but they wouldn't have any of it. They told me to drop it. Told me the city doesn't need another conspiracy theorist and to get back to doing my job before they find someone else to do it for me. But you... You're not bound by such constraints. Oh, help me out here. Help the city out. I bet if you follow the trail of these murders, you will be able to unearth the truth of this resurgence. There are patriarchs on the murder target list. I'm oath-bound to secure them first, so I'll be heading to the upper city next. While I'm there, the other potential victims will be at risk. Could you warn them? Not from round here, are you? We're in Boulder's Gate. This is just how things work. Thank you. That's all I can ask, and more than I hoped. Once I'm done with the Patriarch, I'll head to Basilisk Gate to have another go at convincing my superiors to put some resources into this matter. Meet me there if you've anything more to report. And good luck.
What do I think of Lord Gore Tasha still wrong? I am so glad you are you enjoying the festival? Why, hello there. We were just about to try some of Master Mitzley's delightful wines. Oh, would you care to join us? Mm, they do look ever so tasty. Ah, Mrs. Highbury. I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Call me Cora, Master Metzley. And I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without company, after all. No! I must say, if this is a practical joke, it's not very amusing. Why, a serial killer? Oh, that's terrible! Master Metzley, are you quite all right? It was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect! You have sullied it with knowledge, made it an unclean sacrifice. I will remember your face, and I will peel it from your skull, should you interfere again.
his next victim, no doubt. Something over there. Edition. Oh, dynamite. That Lord Let's get going. Watch your back. At least things have stayed interesting. That spell usually results in a lock being opened. Unfortunately, this time it's about to get you locked up. Your gold buys contempt, but not freedom. You're about to be detained. Ah! 
Sometimes the only way out is through. Swords meet sorcery. <laughs> 